Well, hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your readings at the round table. I'm Jennifer. This is Mouse, and he's sick today. Um, and this is Jasmine, and she's sleeping today. It's a fun filled group that we have here. But um, no, I'm just sort of keeping a close eye on Mouse because he's not. He's not feeling good, so see what goes on here. But I've had a hard time, uh, like, keeping the videos going because the power keeps going in and out here. So we'll see what we'll see what shakes out with um, how many videos I'm able to get done today. I know, right? Um, all right, Sagittarius, this is for the full moon in Capricorn that hits its peak on July 3rd at 7.39 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, this full moon in Capricorn is going to ask you to take stock and evaluate your situation. Um, where are you going and where have you been? To hear more about the um, astrology, make sure you check out my show, um, Astrology for July 2023, so that you can um, hear the details of it, what's going on with it, what's happening around this full moon. Um, because I did listen to everybody's input, and it seems like a lot of you appreciate having the astrology separate from the actual reading. So... We'll give this a try. I mean, the channel is still evolving. I'm okay with that. Let's give it a shot. See what happens. All right. So, Sag, let's see what's going to happen with you in this full moon. If I can get the cards to cooperate. He seems to be resting okay. Hmm. You know, just got to keep an eye on little buddy there. All right, <clears throat> this is kind of interesting. You got three sevens here. And temperance, which is 14 and divisible by seven. And then 17 with the star. So, um, just real interesting. Let's start this off. All right, Sag, we start off here with the seven of shells, which is choice and ambitions. Then we move to the seven of acorns, which is determination and stamina. Hmm. Then we go to the temperance card, which is balance and harmony. And the star, which is peace and healing. And then uh, the seven of feathers, which is preparation and resourcefulness. Okay, Sag, you got a lot of stuff happening here. I just want to say, starting off here with the Seven of Shells, uh, which is choice and ambitions. I don't feel, I feel like you have looked at things and just been like, I've made some wrong decisions before. I've made some, like, some errors in my choices. Haven't we all? Oh my gosh, look, there's so many times that I'm just like, dude, I wish I could go back and unring that bell. You know, this is, life is not a video where you can edit it out or you can hit stop and re-record it. That does not happen. So when choices come up, there's nothing wrong with you being ambitious. And when I say ambitious, I don't mean that you're cutthroat. I mean, there's nothing wrong with you wanting to be the best wife, the best mother, the best, um, I, I don't know, grass cutter, uh, the best, um, you know, hairstylist, whatever it is. Um, like one of my friends, the best, like, sushi maker. I don't know. The, the thing... <clears throat> the thing here is um, whatever you want to do and you want to be the best at it, there's nothing wrong with you like going for the gold. And the thing is, because you've you've learned from like bad decisions because you've learned from and I don't even want to say bad decisions. They were 
they were learning opportunities because you've learned from those things this is why you're going you're going to be going in a good direction the thing is with the seven of acorns determination and stamina whatever's going on whatever decisions that you've had that you're just like i'm not really happy about that decision that i made back then but you did the best you could with the information that you had then the learning that you had then you cannot ask a sixth grader that has just studied basic biology and i mean basic biology to do surgery on someone you can't you can't ask a you know a, an eight-year-old to that's just had their first chemistry set to go out and and do something really really complicated with explosive material that's dangerous we do what we can with what we know at the time so don't be afraid of the choices and just understand that everything that's coming into you you've had those choices for a reason at that time be ambitious you're like i learned from that let's go forward let's move on to the next level that's what you need to be focused on your determination and stamina is definitely going to get you there your connection to spirit is what's going to get you there your determination and stamina your strength of character is what is really keeping you going make sure you remember that bring in the highest vibration of integrity and your morals and your morals not mine not your next door neighbors not your moms or your dads or whatever your morals and your integrity bring that in and go forward with what it is that you want spirit is giving you the stamina to with to to get through it the temperance card balance and harmony there's more there's more having that balance having that harmony in your life is also going to keep you going through the i almost want to say the leaner times you know the the times when you feel like you don't have the energy staying in balance with the physical and the spiritual side is going to keep you is going to help keep you going it's going to help keep your stamina it's going to help you keep that like continuing that momentum going even when you don't feel like it this is when you bring in that moderation this is when you take it one step at a time just easy easy does it just going one step at a time the star peace and healing this is going to definitely bring a lot of healing into your life this is also a very cleansing time this is a really this is a, a this is an optimistic time and a time of cleansing um the swan is in the pool of consciousness so whatever it is that you've learned is out there it's in the pool of consciousness you're not likely to forget it and you can move through it at this time you can keep going and bringing in that peace and healing is definitely definitely going to boost you so that you can like say I know where I'm going. This is this is what I can do because I'm not going back there. I've learned from it. This is where I'm going. Now I now I know what to do in this situation. Um and the seven of feathers preparation and resourcefulness is definitely saying that you have been preparing. You have been preparing. Yeah, maybe some weird stuff has happened. Maybe stuff got a little weird there for a minute, you know? I mean, maybe there was like some disputes or maybe there was like some, you know, a lot of emotions or what have you. But the thing that's happening now is that you are prepared and you have the resources to take on something much harder because you dealt with it at this level you now have the resources that you can actually deal with it at a higher level it seems crazy but that's real i think that this is gonna i, I think this is gonna be so fantastic because you've been through it sagittarius you've been through the ringer i don't know if this is with a job with relationships um you know with your community with yourself um maybe this is like with 
whatever hobby or even finding a home or a new car. You've been through it, but boy, I tell you what, you got the stones to continue on. I love that about Sagittarius people. Oh my gosh, you do. You're just like, okay, that just about broke me, but it didn't. So I'm going to keep going. And the rewards are coming in for it. A chariot. Oh, I got two cards there. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, this is so perfect. This is so perfect because you had a lot of sevens in the first layer, let's call it. And now, again, we're seeing some rewards. So we got sixes here. Um, we start off with a seven. Ooh, the chariot. Then we go to the King of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Judgment card, and the Six of Cups. So I just want to say that the Six of Cups absolutely illustrates what I'm talking about with this full moon and Capricorn energy. The Six of Cups is you're looking at where you've been, where you are now, but you still have a long way to go. So you're, this is a good time for you to look at things fondly, to look at your past and see how far you've come, to see how far you've grown, to see like how much you have learned. This is a good time for you to look back and go, I'm not where I'm going yet, but at least I'm not where I was. This is this truly is a, a wonderful card and it's a perfect it's a perfect Capricorn full moon and Capricorn like card here energy so the chariot is you've you've been through some you've been through some rough times but now spirit is starting to move some of these obstacles back for you they're starting to clear the the way so that you can have a smoother ride so that you can have like a clear voyage now this is this is again this is momentum because you didn't stop because you didn't stop and give up this is now where we're seeing the manifestation of a better journey. You have actually gone through the darkest part and now you're moving into a place of light. The King of Cups energy, oh my gosh, love him. The King of Cups energy is he is a good listener. He wants to understand everything that's going on. He uses his emotions as his guidance system a lot like the Queen of Cups does. But for him, he is very, he is very intuitive, also like the Queen of Cups. But he's very understanding and he needs to see, he needs to understand the situation so that he can, it's almost like so that he can feel good about it. So that he can be like, okay, all right. And that's where you are, is that you're trying to emotionally understand that you wouldn't have been able to do this when you were at this level. You wouldn't have been able to, like, understand the things that was going on with this energy when you were at this level of energy. He's finally understanding that. You are finally getting that. Listen to your spirit guides. Listen to yourself. And if you need to express yourself in some sort of creative or artistic way, now's the time. Yeah. Um, the Six of Wands is a card of success. It's definitely saying you have gone through, you've gone through it. Now's the time of success. Now's the time, again, for you to reap these rewards. Now's the time for you to see that victory in it. The thing with the judgment card, I love this card. This is a card of self-realization. This is a card of that sudden, aha, I got it. 
this is the card of the self-realization and almost redemption because in this card, she's seeing like Glenda, the good witch says you had the power all along. It was always within you, Sagittarius. It was always within you. You could handle this. You could take care of it. And now you're realizing it. Now you're in that place of self-realization and just going, I get it. I get it. Again, the Six of Cups energy, I just, I love this so much. It's so perfect because you're, you are evaluating, you are taking stock and you're seeing where you've been, where you're going or where you are currently and where you want to be. I know it's happening. keep getting weather alerts on my phone and I'm like because the power just keeps going out and it comes back in and I'm just like all right am I gonna get anything done today we'll see we'll see how much I get recorded today and move um, see how much today and tomorrow maybe My goodness, I'm not taking pop out cars today. Not feeling it. It's just, you know, just today. Ooh, Master Buddha. Oh, the butterfly transformation glasses. Okay. All right. Let's start with the butterfly, shall we? All right. First advice card comes from the animal deck. Butterfly transformation. Change, joy, and color remind us that life is a pleasurable dance. Transformation comes from being open to life stages and learning each lesson. Listen to the music of life. Transformation is inevitable, but change can be gentle and sweet. Nice. Okay, um, next card is uh, the advice from Spirit. It is from Master Buddha. Increased awareness. Deep connection. Trust your inner voice. Listen to your spirit guides. Because... Everything, everything you need, you have. Awesome. Okay, last advice card comes from the essential oil deck. It is a uh, birch. The um, emotional aspects of birch, it releases feeling taken for granted, unsupported, and isolation. It instills 
connection, support, and inner strength. It creates courage and strength to move forward, feeling supported and full of hope. The centering thought, I am fully supported in all aspects of my life. My creator has my back. I am strong and resilient and I have much to offer. The affirmation, why is it so easy for me to create such a great support system? Uh, And the chakra is the heart and the root. Well, I think this is, I think this is an amazing time for you because it's not been the easiest on you lately, Sagittarius. And I'll say, I think that the, the mutable signs, uh, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces are still not completely out of the woods with the hard time that they've been going through. But the thing is, is how you perceive it. It's your perception. And I definitely think that understanding that this is learning and you're learning your way through this is, is going to be much better. It's going to be a much better ride. So, yeah, bring it in. Thank you so much for joining me today, Sagittarius. Um, make sure that you watch the astrology for July 2023 so that you can fully understand what's going on with this full moon in Capricorn on July 3rd. Um, also, uh, don't forget to watch your monthly numerology for July. It should be out by the time that this video comes out. And of course, you know, any of my other videos that you're interested in, like reviewed at the round table, there's some new ones uh, getting posted for that. Um, and until we see each other again, Sagittarius, get out there and make your magic. Bye.